Winter is a time when the risk of getting Lyme disease and other tick-borne infections is at its lowest. Despite a drop in activity, though, deer ticks rarely die off, even in harsh conditions, because they can survive under snow cover. But if temperatures get above freezing for a couple of days, experts warn ticks can reemerge quickly. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee reports. While some people may think deer ticks can't survive beyond the first hard frost, think again. Even if you end up having sub-zero temperatures, that insulating snowpack actually provides a nice buffer for the ticks and helps them to survive. Chuck Lobelchek is a vector ecologist at the Maine Medical Center Research Institute. He and other researchers are tracking ticks throughout the state. Ticks which carry Lyme and other infections can also remain active, attached to deer and other animals, moving around looking for food. He says ticks can die off when there is no snow cover and prolong sub-zero temperatures. A lot of surface ice on the ground that doesn't provide a whole lot of insulation um, for the ticks to overwinter. Experts say any kind of winter thaw that could happen over the next several weeks, that's when temperatures rise above freezing for a period of time, could spur tick activity as well. It's not uncommon for people to find ticks following that February thaw. Um, frequently they get on animals at that time, especially if animals are out in the woods. A tick inside the bag. Griffin Dill is a manager of the University of Maine Cooperative Extension Tick Identification Lab in Orono. The lab analyzes tick samples sent in from the public and tests them for pathogens. 2021 saw a big spike in samples compared to the previous year, partly due to a surge in dog tick activity. The lab received more than 3,500 deer ticks submitted from all of Maine's 16 counties. 42% tested positive for the bacteria that causes Lyme, a small increase from 2020. And then we also saw some fairly uh, dramatic increases in anaplasma and babesia, the causative agents of, of anaplasmosis and babesiosis. 65% of people who submitted samples found them on their property, often doing yard work. Dill says if temperatures do begin to thaw this month, protect yourself and your pets before heading outdoors. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. We'll have the 2021 tick report from the University of Maine Tick Lab, plus other information about ticks and the diseases they carry on our website and New Center, Maine app.